Okay, Rob, um, last week, a slight blip, I suppose, in, in the fact that it was a, a rare defeat here. What's uh, the, the feeling been like in the camp since then? Well, obviously, for, for all the right reasons, uh, a little bit of a little bit of annoyance. Not not because you lose a game of Premiership Rugby, because that happens, you know, and, and teams play well against you and every game should be a challenge. I think what we're frustrated with is probably our level of performance. I think it was a, it was a dis disappointing performance, uh, lower quality um, and energy than we're used to and, and what we'd expect from ourselves. Uh, and so that's created a, an interesting training week, an in a training week that quite rightly should hurt a little bit. Um, and what we've got to make sure we do is that that just reminds us of, of how well you have to prepare and how much you have to commit on a, on a match day. Um, and if it, if it serves as a, as a nice little reminder at this time of year, we've got to try and make sure that becomes a positive for us. Yeah, well, you kind of answered my next question there in, in the fact that sometimes can a defeat be a good thing? It kind of gives everybody a bit of a... Bit of a um, it, it can be a good thing if you use it in the correct way. Um, we've, we've done that very often before. You know, I, I've, I've never been somebody to overreact um, to, to one-off results, either good or bad. Um, but at the same time, you've also got to be very careful. You don't underreact under things and just say everything's okay. Because a performance, and I say not the results so much, but a performance like we had at the weekend normally shows uh, a few things aren't quite right. And that isn't just with the way the players prepared and performed, but as a coaching staff, the first thing that happened was we had a good look at ourselves as well and we asked ourselves some quite serious questions about, you know, had we been driving the quality and the intensity of, of our preparation over a number of weeks uh, to the level we should have been. Uh, we've talked about that and we've implemented a couple of things in training. I feel we've had a very good training week, but actually that's only part one of the challenge. You know, the, the next part of the challenge is you, you train well every day and you train with the intensity that's required. And then also when it comes to match day, you show some genuine toughness and some genuine intensity and, uh, and some genuine fight to get on with things, regardless of the scenarios or the situation that, you, that the game shows you. Mm. Because back-to-back -back defeats in the league don't happen very often for you guys anymore, do they? That show the character. Of the well, I mean, well, they haven't. They haven't for a little while, but it's only been a little while. And I think the important thing is, you know, if all of a sudden now we think that there's some there's some massive issue because we've had a couple. Well, there wasn't a massive issue in our climb to win in the Premiership. You know, we'd, we'd lose back-to-back -back Premiership games then, and we dealt with it. And we moved forward, and we always look to become a better side. We've lost back-to-back -back Premiership games now, and the goal is exactly the same: that we've got to move forward and we've got to look to become a better side. And that that hasn't changed. And I think the important thing is that we, we understand that, that that goal and that aim hasn't changed because otherwise, you know, panicky, silly reactions to things um, don't help anybody. What, we, we've never done that before and that's allowed us to have a, a, the rate of development we'd like um, and we're certainly not going to you know, see things that aren't there. You know, the reality is it was, an under, it was an under par performance. We've got to address the issues that we think created that and if we address the issues that we think we created that, we should be able to move forward here. Just finally on that that defeat last week, people outside the club might look at the fact that this is the first time really that Chiefs have had bulk of players out on international mm -hmm. duty during the Six Nations, plus you had Slady out injured and Campagnaro, two internationals mm -hmm. that were out injured as well. Is that the case? Well, it obviously has an effect. You know, to, to say that um, players not being here doesn't have an effect on you, well, you may as well not have them then, because if they don't have any effect, there's no point having them. So, th th of course, they have an effect on, on, on it, but at the same time, you can't use that as an excuse for the level of performance. As I've said, you know, we, we've won and lost before, and I'm, uh, as a club, uh, and myself as a coach and the team, we've reacted well to both. Um, what you've got to do is make sure that you're driving your level of performance to something that you're happy with. And I think that was the frustration for us. We, we didn't perform anywhere near our best. I thought Worcester were good, so I'm not taking anything away from Worcester, but we didn't perform at the level we need to. And I can't, I can't affect Worcester's performance and the way they prepare, but I can affect ours. And that's what we've got to make sure we do. You know, there's no point in looking at a refereeing decision or something that Worcester have done. We've got to look at our own preparation and our own performance on the day and decide how we're going to get better. Looking forward to the next game. Then on Sunday, Wasps, a familiar foe. Mm. Um, played them in big games recently. Got a good win up there earlier in, uh, here early in the season. Sorry, but what, um, what do you expect from them? Well, uh, I mean, they're a hugely threatening side. I mean, we're, we're very aware of that. You know, we've had some, we've had some fantastic games against them. No game ever, see, no, no games ever a six-three boring contest. That's for certain. You know, we, we know it's going to be a challenge. We know they're, they're, they're a little bit one of the form teams when you talk, look at premiership performances now and we've got to make sure that you know we kind of I'm not going to say buck our ideas up but we kind of get to the level that we need to be to challenge them um, and you must remember you know, you know going away to Wasps top four contender is, is a big challenge and that's what we've got to fight, to fight for we've got to decide this is going to be a big challenge we've got to go there and we've got to throw everything into the game in the way we want to play 
we think we know how to do that against Wasps. We've had success before, and the challenge will be: can they play like Wasps more than we can play like Exeter Chiefs? And that will be the, that will be the simple challenge. And I suppose <coughs> playing against a side that is probably going to be in the top four, like yourselves, come the end of the season, hopefully, um, it's another yardstick. You know, it's another game where you've played against them and you've mm. seen them and you know what they're about. Well, definitely. I mean, we're, we're we're kind of heading into a group of pretty much eight pointers, really, when you look at it. Not because not only can we collect points that help us in the top four, but we can also deny potential for, for top four clubs from getting points themselves. So, you know, you look at Wasps, you know, if we get them and Wasps don't, that's a huge advantage to us. Then we, then in a couple of weeks, we've got Saracens, similar scenario. Then after that, we come to, we go to Bath, similar scenario. You know, we've got a lot of games where us collecting points in the opposition not will make a huge effect coming the end of the season. And some of those things have got to be extra motivators for us, but they've got to motivate us in the right way. And the, and the right way should, should be that we go out and fight for points, not that we come, be, become defensive and worry about what everyone else is going to do. Just finally, as rain comes in, um, squad-wise, fitness-wise, how is uh, everybody? Yeah, we're pretty good. We haven't picked up anything too serious uh, over the last couple of weeks, um, and we've got some guys return, you know, slowly getting fit, fit from injury. And obviously, you know, it's like anything. We've we've got Alec Hepburn back this week uh, from England duty, which is obviously giving our front row options a bit of a boost. Uh, Henry Slade's getting close now and is, is, is pretty much training fully. So we, we, we're starting to get, get some up, more options in some places as we get less options in other places. But that tends to be the nature of the beast. And at, at what you've got to do at this time of year is actually stop looking around for all the reasons you can't play well and make sure you find all the reasons you can. And you know, going away to Wasps at this time of year during the international period, this, this should be a lot of reasons why we find a way to play very well. Mm -hmm.